Welcome back, y'all, to Sister Circle Live. It's the week of our clash in the kitchen. My sisters and I are competing against each other to see who can throw down the best with the cookware. Today it's me against choir, which is extremely unfair. Oh, it's gonna be but fun. we girl, this is so, this whoever set this up is out of control. We have a chef though who's a pro in the kitchen to help us out. She's cooked for Oprah, Drake, and Diddy. Please welcome down to the circle, Chef Danny. Yay, hey, Danny! How you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Honey, we are doing just fine. People have told us you have been very busy cooking for billionaires. Very busy. I mean, you know, how did you come into cooking and your love and passion for food? Mm. I mean, I'm deeply connected to it because of energy. Mm. So my mom's a nurse, and uh, the time that she actually had to spend at home, we did it in the kitchen. Yeah. So like, I built that connection early on uh -huh. at a really young age, and I just feed off that energy and bring it off to my clients because everybody needs that right now. Like, okay. Yeah, really do. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. Now no. we've seen the Chanel pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's yeah, some like pancakes. Ooh. That's Chanel. Come on, <laughs> okay. Uh, you're a girl. You're living in the world. You need pancakes. pancakes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and they look amazing. Now, uh, it, it, this includes another b a breakfast f favorite. Yeah. So uh, tell us what we got going today. I see the... Uh, Yo, set up. I see a set up here. <laughs> now, it, it's, a, it's a hot mess for me because it looks very good and I can't have none of it. I okay, know. Well, I mean, but what do we got going here? I have, I have my version of it. So this is a bourbon pecan pumpkin French toast. Okay, Ooh, girl. Yes. My God. And for you guys, we have different toppings so you can make it your own mm -hmm. way. So this is your own style because there's no wrong way of cooking and as long as it does taste good, of course. You okay, know, you right. Mess it up. But so you're going to make your own variation of it. Mm -hmm. You do have 90 seconds to do it. Oh, look okay. at that. They want to <laughs> okay. put a on the people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we, do, we, so, do we get to use these concepts? Yes, okay. yes. So we have some drizzles right here, okay. maple, caramel, um, some bourbon syrup. Oh, I like that um, bourbon. We also have some whipped toppings, granola, butter pecan, um, um, coffee covered, uh, co coffee covered um, pecans and chocolate berries. So okay. you just make it your own thing. Now, Danny, I, I need to get to the details. Now, what's the, ju <laughs> what's the judging criteria? <laughs> Plating and tasting. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay All so right. Let's get it going. Go. Right. So where do we start? All right. We are gonna start in five, four. Three, come two, on, four. go! <laughs> Baby said, "Come on, four, honey." All, all right. right now. Ah, look at that! Look at that! She slices. Now, do you always <laughs> when you when you are cooking, uh, Danny? Do yes. you always say, you know, I wonder what my people would like? Do you cook for them, or do you cook just because I know this is going to be a great recipe? No, you know what? I cook actually something that's tailored to them. Mm -hmm. I want it to be very connected to my clients um, so they feel very familiar, comfortable, and they're connected to the recipe. Okay then. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now who, who has uh, been your hardest critic to, to cook for? Actually, I haven't had any hard critics. It's mm -hmm. actually me just playing it on with myself. Um, I would say when I met Oprah, I was very intimidated. Um, but now, she why was were you intimidated? She's only Oprah. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's Oprah. <laughs> um, no, she's a beautiful soul. And when I met her, I was like, okay, boom. This is like the most amazing person I ever met in my life. Uh -huh. <laughs> and did she, did she give you a word of comfort? She Some actually type of gave me a word that actually changed my life. That's when I started traveling and went to Dubai, started consulting, and um, my life just changed. <laughs> Really? Right afterwards, yes. It's like she told me some words that only God could have told her, and I'm like, you don't even know me. You ought to share those <laughs> words, girl. What did she tell you? Basically, like, I need to live my life for myself. Don't worry about what other people say, and, um, you know, just do things for you. Do, do what you want. I know that's right. Yeah, do things mm -hmm. for you, and at that time, I was at a moment where vanity was at the utmost importance for the people around in my circle, mm -hmm. and I got rid of those people in my circle and just really started living for myself. Love that. All right, Love we that. got 10 seconds, oh, ladies. 10 seconds, honey. All right, this is looking easy. He's looking really good. This is looking really good. Nine, Nine eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, all right. I wanted to put a little cinnamon on top of that cream, but that's okay. We got it there. We got it. It's all good. All right. All right. So, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, no, we have great pop of color over here. I absolutely love it. Because the whole thing is a show that, you know, ladies, you don't feel intimidated about doing this at home. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, I like this. 
Okay, so she has to taste. Now mm -hmm. it's time for the taste. Got the caramel drizzle going on over here. Mm -hmm. I got through some caramel mm -hmm. up, up off on there and you know, some icing. Yes, yeah, uh, some icing. And, <laughs> and a little piece of powder. Yeah, a little piece of, piece of powder. I got a little piece of powder, I got piece of powder so get your oh, whipped cream now. Get oh, you some oh, whipped cream. Yes. I, got a little, I got a little. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got some cotton nuts on there too. Mm -hmm. You feel me? How much nuts? Okay. I put some nuts in there. Some chocolate. Come on, Chef Danny girl. Come on home, honey. All right. And over here we have some different textures. Mm -hmm. Get your little granola. Mm -hmm. Get you some caramel. Uh -huh. And some fresh. Look, it look a little mm -hmm. dry, Miss Quad. Don't hate, baby. Don't hate, honey. I want her to still taste the French toast. You got all that drizzle and stuff going Who on. Who cares about mm -hmm. French toast when you got all these toppings? <laughs> Where we at, Chef Danny? Mm. I'm not gonna lie. I really like how the freshness and the cream cheese really balanced it all out. Mm -hmm. It livened it up. But I am a real textual and visual person. She bought height to the dish. <laughs> and she bought, <laughs> she, bought different, she bought different textures and everything. And that's just me critiquing as a chef. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that fair? To critique as a chef? Because we ain't chefs. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm just saying. sisters, though. Yeah, as sisters. Right, so not chefs. chefs. Not chefs. Yeah, so I, I'm saying my Talk opinion is that I do, like, I, I do like, you know, how it has height and texture. My kids are like this. They're, but I was going to say, this is very visually appealing because of all of the color, all of the drizzle and stuff. So honestly, if you were to post both on Instagram right now, this actually probably would get more likes. Yeah, because you got a little bit more red in it. You got some red in it. Because it looks yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. But they both taste amazing. But it's the red. It's the red that got you popping, honey. It's the it's strawberries. Like, it look like something. <laughs> <laughs> but see, I learned that from Miss Quad, actually. Miss Quad said presentation is it's everything. everything. It is. So, Absolutely. She was trying to give you her best chef tease. Yeah. I was okay. trying to give the people some presentation. Now, what do you have open up in the kitchen right now, Chef Danny? Well, you know, right now I have a couple of things going on. I'm working on a couple of ebooks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'm also working on a couple of pop ups in different major cities. Yes. So I could bring some Instagrammable foods to you guys. Um, and also my little mini campaign right now Feed Him Fall. Oh, uh, that's cool. What are you doing? Tell us about Feed Him Fall. Oh, okay. So basically, the whole thing is Hot Girl Summer is like long gone and over. Yeah, it is. It's cold outside. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole thing is bringing in a little love right now and just tapping into our love languages. So cooking mm -hmm. is a way to tap into about three love languages. And mm -hmm. if you don't notice, that's why we actually fall in love with people with food. You do have it because you spend a little quality time. Exactly. With you got cooking. quality time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's you, like your gift. An act of kindness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. And your gift giving. Yeah. Exactly. Well, exactly. We, so we it's super important. You. Well, we thank you so much, Chef Danny, <laughs> for coming down here and joining us. Be sure to keep up with her on Instagram <laughs> at Chef Danny at, at Chef Danny.